Today, we're gonna to have a conversation about construction financing. As you can see, we're standing at the site actually of one of our clients. We're gonna discuss what the banks are most concerned about. In a construction site, you could see construction is probably the one of the most highly looked at and, and, and the most uh, problematic loans of all to get a bank to sign off on. And you can see why. There's a, a certificate of occupancy that's eventually needed. You're just starting here with a piece of raw land. You're doing ground up construction. And at the end of the day, you better make sure that the people that are building this know exactly what they're doing. Otherwise, it's a huge problem from the bank. So there's a lot of things that go into this for the bank to sign off and say, yes, we're gonna lend these people millions of dollars to build this project. Some of the things that they're gonna look at, for example, is what is the total cost of the project? Because when they find out the total cost, they're gonna tie this into what they call a pro forma budget. That budget recognize what are the rents they're gonna be charging? Are those rents commensurate with the town in general or the, or the apartments that are close by? Or does it make sense what they're doing? They're also gonna look at things like what are they going to do inside the apartment? What are the amenities and finishes going to look like? Are they also commensurate to what the other uh, apartments in the area are? They're going to look at the resumes of the builders. Have they done this before? In this case, this is a multifamily uh, setup. There's 66 uh, units coming in here. Have these developers done multifamily before? Because the, the banks aren't going to just take anybody to build a multifamily if they had specialized in hotel or some other thing. Also, have they built projects in this part of town before? Are they connected to the local uh, uh, authorities here for permit process and, and is gonna get done in a timely fashion? All this is very important. When it comes to the individuals also, they wanna look deep into the individuals that are the owners on this property. Do they have a lot of liquidity? What are the references from other banks that they've done deals for over, over the time? Then they will also look at the renderings and plans of the, of the site, of what they're working on exactly. And the comps, like I said, of all the other properties. They're gonna to wanna to know that you can finish the job probably in 24 months or less, which is typical. Sometimes they have extensions, but typically they, they keep it to a short time period. And if you don't finish on time, you're looking at a possible default from the bank. They're also gonna to talk to brokers to find out if the, what they're building makes sense for the area and um, the property portfolio of the resume of the individuals, like what they've done before, is it looks similar to what they've done before. They wanna make sure that these people know exactly what they're doing. But you really need strong, strong developers here. And you also need a commercial finance guy, a, a trusted advisor that not only understands the numbers, but understands the real estate space, understands construction has lived in these areas before, as you can see, it's not just something that you sit in your office and do, it's something that you can deliver and sell to the bank. So if any of this resonates with you, it's time for us to talk.